agreements. President William Ruto and when the Azimio group reached out to him that they wanted a discussion, he said he's, he's fine with it. And they say they want to come on the table and discuss whatever issues are bothering Along the way, they decided they don't want to speak. They want to go back to Mandamano. Again, when they went to Mandamano, things were a bit rough. They decided they don't want Mandamano. They want to come and speak. We want them to come and speak to our MPs in Parliament, whatever issues that are there, provided they are not in violation of the Constitution. If the things they have are things that are legal, that are within the parameters of the law, as a government, we are willing to engage. Violence, for whatever reason, is unacceptable. It doesn't matter what reason you give to be violent. Destruction of property is unacceptable. Stopping people from going to work is unacceptable. So we want to thank the Azimio people for saying they want to talk to our MPs. We welcome them to a frank discussion. Whatever issues are disturbing them, they can address with the members of parliament. And then the members of parliament can come and tell the president and I what the issues are. In the meantime, ourselves, we are very busy. But our MPs will listen. They will listen. And once they listen, they will come and tell us. And then, if it is something that can be done, we'll do it. If it's within the law, we'll do it. You know? But if it's something that we don't know, there's nothing we can do. If they say they want to open the server, ourselves, we don't know where it is. <laughs> Maybe the members of parliament know. They'll discuss. And to be saying, my you, Masugumuzo, in the meantime, since to go come on by Hapa nakuru tumelete fertilizer ya 3,500. When we came to government, it was 7,000. Watu walime, tumeshukuru mungu, ame tusaidia na mvua ya kutosha, na tunataka, tunaomba mwenyezi mungu atupatie mazao ya hekma, so that we can have sufficient food. Naomba bishops, our reverend fathers, mutusaidia kidogo. Wacha ni uombe njini mutusaidia kidogo. Kuna pali tumekwama. Ni waulisa watusaidia? Hii maneno ya madawa ya kulevia na pombe, mutusaidie, makasisi wetu. In this Nakuru County, we are almost losing an entire generation.